Hello HUD House Hunters, it's Donnie Corum with Colorado Springs ForeclosureDeals.com. First off, thank you again for tuning into our videos. We appreciate all the comments. I love the phone calls. We're moving a lot of HUD property and I have you to thank. Thank you guys, I appreciate it. Today I bring you 3409 Colony Hills Drive. Now this is in the southeast part of Colorado Springs, directly off of Drennan and Academy area. Now real easy access to Carson, on Academy or the Powers Corridor, you got a lot of easy access to different parts of town, so that's nice. Three bedrooms, two baths, about 1,200 square feet, and guys, this is a single family residence, and albeit is very rough, they're selling it for only $67,000, which is sweet. You can't buy a house anywhere for $67,000 except this one. So let's go ahead and take a look at the Colony Hills property. Come along. So we're in the entryway of Colony Hills. Now, out of the gate, they added some. Uh, very interesting hardwood. Uh, my preference on this would probably be to pull it out because it doesn't match, they missed some patches. So more than likely gonna be reflooring the vast majority of this house. The fireplace seems more like an insert than something that was originally here. Um, and it's obviously an insert that didn't quite complete. So you've got a couple options here where you try to figure out how to make this legal and make it work correctly. Or and what I would probably do is just tear this thing out. But that's going to be a judgment call for you. Depends widely on how much work you want to put into getting that fireplace functional. We head into the kitchen from here. And um, the kitchen cabinets are dated. Um, we got this probably used to have glass in the center of it. It no longer does. Um, dated but not horrible. I think if you wanted to save some money, you could probably paint these up into a nice white shade and uh, put some updated fixtures on it. And you just might be able to salvage the cabinets in this thing if you really get creative. Back here we have a nice kitchen dining room area off of the kitchen. And you know how I am guys, if we don't need it, we get rid of it. So my thought would be to open this room up entirely by knocking this wall out. And that's gonna make the room feel a lot bigger and more spacious and um, relatively sure that it's not a load bearing wall. So that shouldn't be a big deal to add that room separation, get rid of that room separation, excuse me, and really open things up. So upstairs we have, first of all, the uh, main bathroom area. And um, like most of the bathrooms we look at on these rehabs, guys, it's just a little bit dated. The tile is a typical four inch tile surround. I'd want to replace that. Add some tile floors onto this thing and uh, update the vanity and things like that. So we're doing most of the usual cosmetic work on this, but don't let that scare you off, guys. We've got several programs, including the FHA 203K program, where you can roll the financing costs and the rehab costs, excuse me, into this property. So you don't necessarily need to come out of pocket. I know it seems like a lot of work, but really what you have to figure out is what it's gonna to cost to get done and how much equity is gonna be left over when you do it. So this is the first of the bedrooms. And one of the features I really liked about this bedroom, it's a decent size, but they also added this sliding patio door that walks out to the deck and a huge backyard. We'll take a look at that before we close. Probably call this the master just because it's slightly larger than the first bedroom we looked at. It also has a lot of closet space here, several bifold doors that we're more than likely going to replace. Um, however, HUD looks at this property as, as cosmetically challenged as it is. HUD sees this as an FHA insurable deal. There's a couple of minor repair escrow items which include drywall and some plumbing fixes. But in general, you can still buy this property for the $100 down. And you can still get the tax credit on this property as long as you act quickly. So sixty-seven thousand bucks. You're gonna put some money into it, no doubt. But we're in a neighborhood that comfortably supports one twenty. So you're stealing this thing. And investors take note: if the owner rocks don't pick this thing up in the first ten days that it's listed, it immediately goes to investor. And if you're an investor looking to do a fix and flip property, this would be a great one to start with. I think this equity spread is excellent. With that, let's see the basement. So 3409 Colony Hills is a tri-level, so you do have a basement area, but it's a garden level basement. Now just look at the difference here. We're not completely underground, so you've got windows that look out into the world here. And as a result, these rooms are going to stay a lot more bright, so you don't need as much lighting on here because you have a garden level basement. About 400 square feet of this property is basement, so 800 upstairs, 400 here. There's some questions on county right now whether or not this basement was permitted space, but we can look into that. You may have to pull some permits to bring this completely into the times, but we'll address that when you call. Now, back this direction, we have the uh, laundry room. And as we continue back this direction, you'll find the bathroom area. Neither of which is all that functional, which again leads me to believe that there may be some permitting issues. But believe it or not, guys, that's good news because 
this way you can do this correctly pull permits to get it done you don't have to tear things out to put them back in so some of this being exposed is actually going to save you a little time and money because you can put it together the right way the first time which is important and again may not be permitted we don't know but what we do know is this is livable space i mean they didn't do a terrible job they just didn't finish it you know and once you get this finished out again they paid 122 for this property it's on sale for 67. do the math guys you put 15 even twenty thousand dollars into this thing you still have forty thousand dollars worth of equity in it that's what i call a deal that's what we're looking for when we buy a foreclosure like this put the sweat equity in and sell it at a huge profit on the tail end and i can help you to make that happen just give me a call you got to see this backyard deck in this backyard it's massive come along so we're out back at 3409 Colony Hills, and I want you to see this backyard because for suburban lot in this price frame, this is a lot of lot space. This thing is cut kind of at a V, so it goes off in that direction, and it is a huge lot. Obviously, you need to put some landscaping work into it because it's all dirt now, but guys, you put the time and effort into this thing, and you are sitting on a boatload of equity, and that's what, again, that's the name of the game. In general, not bad shape on this deck. We're going to paint this up when we paint the rest of the property. And you've got a lot of nice outdoor living space, fun place to hang out and enjoy your backyard. So let's go ahead and recap Colony Hills and get you guys on the road. We're at 3409 Colony Hills Drive, Colorado Springs, Colorado, 80916. Basic cross streets are roughly Drennan and Academy area. This home features three bedrooms, two baths, a one car garage, just over 1,200 square feet of living space. HUD has this slashed down to $67,000, but even with its low price, it is still available for standard FHA financing, which means you can get the $100 down payment program on this, add on the FHA 203K program to do the rehab work, and if you're willing to put in the time and effort, you're sitting on a boatload of equity, and they'll help you to pay for the rehab so you don't have to pay for it out of pocket at 67 grand if this doesn't go owner occupied i can guarantee half a dozen investors will want to write a check for this right away so if you are interested in this property to buy and make your own you got to call me up numbers at the bottom of the screen 719-649-2500 don't forget, March 27th is our foreclosure tour where we're going to be meeting up, driving around, and checking out the best deals in Colorado Springs foreclosures. It's going to be a good time. We had a great time last time. We're looking forward to doing that again. With that, that's is Donnie Corum with ColoradoSpringsForeclosureDeals.com. Thank you so much for tuning in. We'll see you on the next one.